All right, so the smoke is cleared from Mikey Garcia Easter. Uh, good fight. It was a good fight. It wasn't um, anything unexpected. I didn't do a uh, pre-fight video or review for the fight due to the fact that uh, I pretty much knew uh, what, what this fight was going to consist of. Uh, and I just really didn't want to waste you guys' time doing a review on that fight. Uh, plus, I don't know um, if you guys are really following uh, boxing like that um, up until the point to where you want to actually watch Mikey Garcia. Nonetheless, um, when it's a big fight like this, I, I would love to do a post-fight review on these fights. So if you guys didn't check it out, Make sure that you go back and check it out um, just to see what Mikey Garcia is bringing to the table as far as moving up to the welterweight division. Uh, I'd like to give a big congratulations to him, you know, for uh, unifying. I know he's not going to stay in the division, so the unification it really didn't do too much for him, but it put him on a big stage fighting at Staples Center. The world was watching. It was on Showtime. PBC did a good job of um, promoting the fight and getting it out there. Uh, Twitter was was off the hook, you know. So um, Mikey Garcia is doing the right thing by keeping his name a buzz and and um, trying to solidify his position in the welterweight division. So we got to see what he's going to look like once he takes the step um, and and gains some weight and moves up into the welterweight division and fights one of these guys that's kind of, you know, maybe C, C plus, B plus in the division. You know, somebody like an Amir Khan, he wants to go after the A, A plus guys. He wants to go after Errol Spence. Shots out to him for wanting to do that. 12 pounds that he has to put on, um, you know, that's extreme. We'll talk about that a little in a minute. But to get to the fight... Um, I had Mikey Garcia up 10 rounds to two. That's the way I saw it. Um, Robert Easter came out. He was firing on all cylinders, you know, with one hand, a left hand. Shots out to my brother over in the VA. He said that Robert left his, uh, Easter left his, uh, his right hand over in, in Cincinnati, <laughs> Ohio. He never, he never let that, that uh, right hand go, man, until the, the 11th round. I mean, you wait 11 rounds to really let that thing go, and he only let it go a few times, and that was the last time we ever saw or heard of it. Put an APB out on the right hand. We don't, we don't know where it's at. We don't know where to locate it. You know, it was a joke. My pick was Mikey Garcia. I'm a big Mikey Garcia fan. Um, I don't know if you guys know that. Um, if you scroll back. And watch all of my other videos that I put out. You will know that I'm a Mikey Garcia fan. Um, not trying to ride a wave or anything, but I, I just love boxers. I like guys that that bring a complete skill set. You know that exude what boxing is supposed to be about. And Mikey Garcia does that. His footwork is good. Um, he has pretty decent hand speed. He has um, you know uh, somewhat okay power in uh, both hands. He picks his shots well. His timing is where it needs to be. His uh, reflexes and, and reactions are, are where they should be. You know, he is, to me, a complete boxer. He is what what Canelo Alvarez is, you know, to uh, also to the sport of boxing. You know, he's a Canelo Alvarez type of fighter. I just think he's a lot more patient, a lot more poised, Um you know, and he picks his shots a lot better, you know, in my opinion. But I like, I love Canelo Alvarez too. But anyway, uh, let's get to to the fight. So, first two rounds, I gave it to Easter. You know, he came out firing, good hand speed, trying to keep Mikey at bay, trying to throw off his timing. And uh, third round came up, and Mikey Garcia let his hands go. He threw a straight right down the pipe and then followed it up with a left hook. Caught Easter off balance, knocked him down. And after that, that was pretty much it for uh, for Easter, man. He he just didn't bring anything. He came out throwing a a left um, throwing a uh, jab to the body and then to the head. That was his attack for the entire night. 
body to the head, body to the head, body to the head, body to the head. That's all he was throwing. And then it just got to a point to where he was just, and he was bracing himself for Mikey Garcia's attack, bracing himself for Mikey Garcia's attack, bracing, you know, bracing, 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 and just taking punches, taking punches and getting backed up. Um, he also did, he did a lot of things wrong in there. Um, his stance was too, too wide. Um, I don't know if I'm saying this guy's name right. Uh, Quintes, I watched that fight earlier today just to kind of refresh my mind on um, Easter because I don't really follow Easter like that. I've seen him fight probably three times, three times, man, in boxing. Um, I've never really paid too much attention to him. I've heard his name ringing, but um, I've never really paid too much attention to him in particular um, because it's always been about Mikey Garcia to me uh, for that division. So <clears throat> um, I already knew from from the get that Mikey Garcia was going to put hands on this guy. You know, he's just too sound of a fighter um, to go in there and lose to a guy of that caliber. But um, to get to my initial point, you know, his his stance was, was way too wide. I mean, he was he was standing way out here. Your stance should be about like this, the, the way that Mikey Garcia was. You know, your stance shouldn't be that wide. So when he was doing that, he was also circling, you know, uh, circling to to his his left trying to circle trying to circle trying to circle uh mikey garcia but he was he was doing it in an unorthodox fashion he was kind of leaning um to the left more so than he was actually pivoting he wasn't really pivoting he was just leaning and um you know and his stance was too wide so whenever mikey garcia would come in for an attack the uh, Easter would have to back up, reset his feet, and then widen his stance again. So anytime you have to keep doing that, you know, you, you're not going to be able to follow up with anything on, from an attack that, that you may have considered throwing, you know. So he had to think about resetting each time Mikey Garcia came in on the attack. He had to reset his feet, you know, and then get back in that stance. And when that happens, uh, he shortened himself because he was a taller fighter at 5'11", with, a, I think, a 73-inch reach or something like that. And uh, he was at, put himself at a disadvantage, just like he did in, in the uh, Fuentes fight. So, um, and I think that, um, I think his name is Fuentes. If you guys know what his name is, correct me in the, uh, in the comment section. But um, that guy was... That guy did a better job to me than Mikey Garcia did. He put blessed hands on Easter, man. Easter didn't have no business winning that fight. Um, but like I said, uh, Easter just, he, he never followed up uh, with any with a right hand after he would throw the left to the body and to the, to the head, you know, with that jab. He never followed up uh, with that jab. He never string, string together any combinations. He never... Uh, Fought. He was fighting at a weird angle, you know, with that stance. He was like way, he had his his right foot way behind his shoulders. So I was thinking if he was, if he was doing that, then he was going to pick some angles and try to, you know, after he threw off Mikey's time and then he would, he would uh, follow up with something, you know, from that angle. He would use angles to try to get in on Mikey Garcia, but it, it, he, none of that ever happened. But um, congratulations to Mikey Garcia, man. I mean, he did everything in there. He went to the body. He went to the head. He, uh, he threw the jab. He threw his left hook, of course. He threw the straight right. I mean, the guy, was, the guy is always phenomenal to watch. I enjoy watching Mikey Garcia. Um, he wants to step in there, like I said, with Errol Spence. Uh, we all know Terrence Crawford is going to have something to say about that. My brother said that uh, he already responded on Twitter, and uh, he said, said, don't forget about your boy in Ohio. So he, he's talking directly to Errol Spence. So he knows that Errol Spence is going to go after that money. Uh, Errol Spence wants to try to put, up, put together another fight in Texas. That would be a huge fight to have uh, Mikey Garcia face off with him in Texas. So, <clears throat> and then 
follow that up with another Garcia. Should Garcia, uh, Danny Garcia, go in there and take business against uh, Porter in September? So I would fight both of those guys, cash in on them, and then uh, go after Terrence Crawford and cash in on him and uh, close out the division with, with Keith Thurman. That's what I would do. So he has multiple fights lined up right now, you know, that benefit him. But anyway, man, this video is too long. Uh, hey, you, like I said, if you guys didn't catch it, make sure you catch it. Hit me up in the comment section. Let me know what you thought about the fight. Peace.